Welcome. I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and this is my website, deadwoodjedi.com, where I'm hosting a clan boss speed calculator for everyone to use. So if you're here, that means you're watching a series of tutorial videos to teach you how to use it. Um, so thanks for coming in. Um, let's just jump right into it. The clan boss speed calculator, there's several notes here on the page of the website. Uh, I do recommend going through them. They're gonna help you avoid mistakes. They're gonna show you the basics of what to do and how to do it properly, um, as well as special instructions that come with some of the specific speed champions included. I spent a fair amount of time writing it, so it's not a waste of yours to read it. Uh, you're gonna, it'll help you avoid a lot of mistakes. Um, but if you're the type of person that doesn't read, just jumps right into making something, let's go ahead and do that for you too. You just click down here on go to calculator, it'll take you directly to the calculator. If you wanna see the crunch of everything, click on download file here and it'll actually download the Excel spreadsheet that all this is based on. That way, if you wanna try and improve on it, please go ahead, this is all for the community. If you find some errors in there, something that can make this better, a, a better way for me to, to have this calculator work for you, let me know and I'll try and incorporate that as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the calculator. And we're back. So didn't take very long to get to the calculator there. Only one click away. All you have to do to start is choose a clan boss difficulty. I have it at Ultimate Nightmare, but you can choose any difficulty and the clan boss speed is gonna change accordingly. I run my teams at Ultimate Nightmare, so we're gonna leave the speed there. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fill in the total speed for your champions. Now the champions are listed in order. That's gonna be the first champion you include in your team, it's gonna be the lead champion, and so on down the list. That's important only if there's ties. The order in which you place those champions will break those ties. So I encourage you to stick to that just so the calculator is as accurate as possible. What we're gonna to do to get the calculator working is put in the total speed of our champions. That's all you have to do. As Soon as you do that, they populate to the right. Very simple. Now, this might not be the exact speed your champions are moving at, so it might not make the calculator completely accurate, but we'll show you later on how to do that. Right now, we're just gonna get a general feel of it. And when I'm testing different speeds or trying different ideas, I usually stick with just the total speed. Now looking at it, you can see as soon as that number gets input, the champions populate to the right in the turn order. And you can see over here, just to the left of that, it will track the turn number that each clan boss is taking. So every time the clan boss attacks, that turn order goes up. It's just like in the actual clan boss fight where you'll see in the top right, the turn number uh, growing over time. And then you're going to see your champions and the order in which they take their turns. And you're going to see to the right all the skills being used. It'll track the clan boss skills from the first to the second AoE all the way down to the stun. And it's going to repeat all the way through. We can also track the skills that our champions are using. But I'm going to show you that in a little bit here. And that's it, guys. That's all you need to get started using the calculator. Just put in the speeds, choose the difficulty, and it populates for you. There's a lot more the calculator can do. Uh, I did build in uh, ways to track the skills the champions are using, as well as to get a calculated speed so that your speed tune is precise. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next couple of tutorial videos. So check those out if you're interested. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just start getting started and playing around with this thing. 